Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to clean out your humidifier naturally with one simple ingredient and that here is vinegar. I just picked this up at my local Dollar Tree. Now this is very different than distilled white vinegar that you may use in your home, in your kitchen. I like the cleaning vinegar better because it is slightly more acidic. I think it's about 20% more acidic than um, white distilled vinegar. But if you check on the back here, you can see a variety variety of places that you can use this particular cleaning video. And for a buck, you know I'm all about that here. I have a measuring cup and then I have a little rag. This process is going to be super quick and should take you less than 30 minutes. If you are new here, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, Andrea Jean one I teach women how to turn their passions into profits. And if you want to know more, there is a freebie in the description box as well. Okay, first things first. Let's go ahead and empty this out, and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so I am about 25 weeks pregnant, so I love this method because it is all natural. You wanna make sure it's unplugged, of course. We're gonna lift it up here, and there's two things that we need to take off if your humidifier is full, and mine is slimy and disgusting. I'm gonna get you in here in a second so you can see all that. But what you want to do is just go ahead and twist this top part off, like so. And then you want to go ahead and twist this bottom part off. Now this can be a little bit tricky, depending upon how tight it's on there. Oh, there we go. And then we're just going to go ahead and drain it out. Get all that excess water out as best as possible. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and dump the base too. Awesome, I'm gonna grab everything and then bring you over to the sink. Let's get in here really close so you can see all the dirt and grime that accumulates. It's recommended that you do this once a week so that your humidifier can work at optimal levels. Um, this little rubber thing goes on here. When we clean this, I'm gonna take that off again. Here's our lid and you can see there's some buildup in there as well. This will actually start to turn pink too at some point, depending upon the last time I did it. Now look in there. So gross, right? Yes. All right, let's move on to the next step. So I have my measuring cup and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure just one cup of vinegar. It's about one cup to go inside of here. While we do that, I do have a whole ton of other videos linked in the description box below, very specialized videos about cleaning grout, about cleaning your oven racks, about cleaning your bathtub naturally. I have product review videos, a lot of clean with me videos, so I hope that you'll stick around here and learn all kinds of fun stuff when it comes to cleaning and get motivated. So I found about one cup gets all of this in here as well. You can see here the vinegar is not touching this part. We're going to wipe it down in a few when we move on to the next step. Okay, so this part here, what I'm actually going to do, because I want to get the inside of this all cleaned up. I'm gonna put the top and this back on again. I'm going to dump one cup of vinegar in here as well. So let me just move this over very carefully. So about two cups total. This is more of an art than a science. <laughs> and I wanna make sure I have my top here because I'm gonna put the top back on so I can swish it all together. And lock it in place. All right. Get that all mixed up all around as best as we can. Turn you this way. You can see it's all sudsy too and soapy. <laughs> awesome. Okay, next step. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and soak all these parts here in the solution. I'll take this part off. 
Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this one in here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna get a little bowl to put this piece in and we'll soak this as well. And we're gonna soak it all for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, got myself a nice little bowl here. Make sure that's in there good. All right, then I'm just gonna soak this part. There we go. Okay, I'll meet you back here in about 15 to 20 minutes. One thing that I do wanna do to make sure I get enough vinegar on there is I'm just gonna dip this rag in and lather this piece down right here so it can get in there. There we go. And this little piece right too, I do have a spray bottle that I could use to spray in there. But I'm just gonna lather this down as well with some of the excess vinegar. sitting for about 15 to 20 minutes I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe everything down and I'm just gonna start with the top here and get up any of that residue like so and it just comes off so easily vinegar truly is a miracle product you can use it to unclog your drains I recently did a video about what happens when you put vinegar on the top tank of your toilet. <laughs> so be sure to check that video out as well. I'm just gonna take this excess vinegar and dump it in here. Maybe pour a little there. There we go. We'll put this piece aside and then we're gonna give everything a bath in my bathtub. You could do this in your kitchen sink as well. But my kids, I have three kids, um, one in the way you can see here, and they can be very noisy out there, so <laughs> the bathroom for me is often the best spot. <laughs> so we're gonna clean that out. This part can actually come off. And you can see that there is quite a bit of buildup in there as well, where it's pink. So we'll get that out. That's looking good. Put our little pile there. And this is where it was really grimy and disgusting. Clean out this base. And again, you shouldn't have to do a lot of scrubbing unless maybe you haven't been cleaning it out and lime and other debris have really collected on there. Awesome, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump this here in the sink. We'll move that over there. And then as far as this one goes, I'm gonna shake it up again, shake it all around on the sides. Be careful not to let it all come out of the top there like so. Dump it out. Okay, let's go ahead and head over to the bathtub. Really quick, one last thing I forgot to do was clean the top of this. All these little moving parts here. <laughs> Get that cleaned out. Vinegar is awesome at eliminating smells and odors. And I know for many people, the smell of vinegar can be pretty off-putting. Um, and I can understand that. What I find though is that the smell goes away pretty quickly here. But everyone is, you know, a little bit more sensitive to other things, depending upon what it is. Okay, now time to give it a little bath. So I got all my pieces over here, and I'm just gonna rinse it out until the smell goes away. And I'm gonna use pretty warm water.
So a couple last things that we are going to do here. There is a little knob inside of here. And if you push that, you can get some water to come out of there and kind of clean that area too. So you want to get as much of the water out as you possibly can. The next thing I'm noticing is a little bit grimy here inside. So I'm just going to take this bag that had the vinegar on it and I'm going to put it through. <laughs> if you had a little brush, um, that would be wonderful. I'm going to put it through here, pull it out the other end. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth here like so. A, a baby bottle brush or one of those that you would use in your kitchen could probably fit in here pretty nicely. But I'm just going to work with what I have right now. Perfect. Let's take a peek. That looks a lot better. I'm going to rinse this out. I'm just going to take my bowl. Rinse it like so. Now there's a couple other things that you can do. I have a towel here and I can go ahead and lay everything on a towel. It is going to take several hours for everything to dry. Let's go ahead and get that out here. We got our base. And throughout this drying process, I may flip things over to make sure all the water is getting out in each of these spaces like so. If you want to use it right away, you certainly can, but what I would recommend doing is getting a towel and drying everything out as best as you possibly can. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just let mine dry naturally here. Perfect. Okay, so that was so easy. Everything is looking really good here. Again, I'm just gonna let everything dry. If you are looking for more cleaning, motivation, and goodies, be sure to check out those playlists in the description box below. I also have a video coming up next about how to sanitize this with bleach. If that video is ready, I will have it linked in the description box as well. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new for weekly uploads, all things cleaning and organizing motivation.